Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix ping and packet loss issues, all of your network issues in the final. So make sure to watch this video till the end. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, the really first thing that you have to do is the firewall setting and the firewall is something you have in built on your windows. So simply search for firewall and then go over to firewall and network protection on your PC. Once you are over here, you have to maximize your screen just so you can see everything that is available. And the most important thing over here that you're looking for is allow an app through firewall. Simply click on this and this window will pop right in front of you. Now, all you have to do is click on this change setting button right over here. And now you can edit the applications and the features. Now, what you have to do is simply click on allow another app and then you have to click on the browse button and locate the installation directory of the finals. Now, once you have located the installation directory, you have to simply click on discovery.exe and then simply click on open and you have to click on add. Now I've already added it. So now you have to just locate discovery in this list. And by default, you'll find the finals in this list. Now, what you have to do is make sure to press on the tick marks over here and enable the private and public check marks right over here. This is really, really important because it will allow your game to utilize your private and public sector of internet. Just to be on the safer side, this will not pose any issues or wait for response from the private or public meter. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I, however, liked how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key. Since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen, and to fix it, I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally, you can get Windows 10 for 5378, but on this sale, you can get it for 2175. And if you use my code FOX25, you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient. And once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes. And using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall. Links are in the description below. Step number two is the control panel settings. And for that, you need to open a control panel, of course. And right over here, you have to click on network and internet. Then go over to network and sharing center and right over here you'll find your ethernet or your wireless connection. Simply click on it and then this window will pop right in front of you. Go to properties and then you will find your internet protocol version 4. Simply double click on it and then click on use the following DNS server. Simply press 8.8.8.8 .8 as well as 8.8.4.4 right over here and then simply click on OK. Once it is done, simply click on OK once again and then you have to go over to properties once again then you have to click on configure right over here and once the property opens up go to power management and make sure to disable the first option that is allow the computer to turn off this device to save power this will help you to reduce your computer automatically turning off your ethernet cable just to save power which you do not really want and this will in turn fix all of your packet loss and latency issues one more important thing right over here is right under the advanced section where you have to scroll a little bit down until you find speed and duplex you have to set this thing to auto negotiation and then the packet priority in vlan simply set this thing to the packet priority in vlan enabled once it is done you have to simply click on ok and you're good to go step number three is ms config and for that you need to press your windows and r key together and search for ms config right over here now once system configuration opens up for your pc you have to go all the way down to the boot section go to advanced option select the number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available for your pc then you have to click on OK, then go back to the services section, click on hide all Microsoft services and disable all unnecessary services for your PC. Some of these services could be related to Adobe, some of them will be related to your RGB, some would be your fan services, your browser update services, printer services, which you do not want to be running every time you're using a PC because most of these services consume your internet in the background also your processing power which leads to FPS as well as packet loss once you're done applying all of them simply click on apply 
Now there is one more simple option that can help you reduce your input latency as well as your ping issues and packet loss that is gear booster. I'll leave a link to this down in the description below. Now gear booster should look like this and right over here you will find the finals on your home page. If not already you can always search for the finals from the list over here and then simply you have to click on the boost button and it will boost the game from the nearest region available to you. As you guys can see it will give me a 66 millisecond ping which is directly connecting my PC to the Singapore servers and it will eliminate all kinds of ping and packet loss issues. You can also monitor your packet loss and the improvement you are getting right from here. The best part over here is you can change the region if that doesn't work for you and you can even change the individual node just over here as you guys can see i'm using singapore and jakarta nodes that are nearest to me it will auto pick the nearest node which will help you to reduce your input latency as well as best ping and no packet loss just from this application it doesn't only boost the finals but it has a ton of games to choose from so you can always try gear booster from the link in the description below now next step is creating a restore point and this is really really essential and I highly recommend you guys not to skip this. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC and once you open up system protection, you have to scroll to find your local disk C, click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled. Then you have to simply click on OK, click on create and name this thing the finals just so you can remember it from. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really really essential in restoring your system if anything goes wrong without any data loss. Last step is the finals network priority pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can also join my discord server to download this pack directly. Simply open this thing up and you'll find in two simple folders. The first one is the finals optimization. We'll find the first option that will disable your background applications in the PC. This will help you to reduce your application utilizing your network in the background which will in turn help you to fix your network issues. Right after that is the PC optimization registry and it has some settings related to optimizing your system registries that will help you to get better performance related to your FPS and your network consumption. Last is the finals high priority and this will set your game priority to the maximum level. So whenever you're running the finals on your PC, your PC will utilize the maximum resources in running the game more than running the background services. This will help you to prioritize your game the way you should. Second one is the network optimization and this is the most important part of this pack. It has a network optimization batch file which is specifically designed for the finals. In this batch file I have left a ton of commands that you have to manually type in but if you run this thing directly as an administrator you do not have to do it manually it will automatically perform all of these commands which will help you to clear your delivery cache and so much more and running it will help you to set your bcd edit net sh commands power saving features and a lot more things on your pc that has to be done this is a super helpful optimization so i highly recommend you guys to run it it will not only fix your network issues in the final but will also help you to fix your network issues in all of your games once you're done with the fps pack you are really good to go so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button also we have rolled the new channel membership so if you guys are not yet a part of the channel membership do check them out show some love and appreciation towards the content we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out